Hello, Miramar. I'm Mayor Wayne Messam, and welcome to the Mayor's Corner. I'm really excited about this segment. We have many announcements that deal with some important issues regarding historic Miramar, some upcoming city events, so that you can mark your calendars to prepare for. First up on the announcements, I would like to provide an update on Historic Miramar Innovation and Technology Village along with the Land Use Amendment Plan application that has been submitted to the City of Miramar, the State of Florida, and Broward County. The final vote in this very long process is on July 7th that will come before the Miramar City Commission for final approval. The land use amendment application has taken over a year to get to this final vote, which will take place on July 7th at the commission meeting. It is important for this item to pass because it will facilitate the redevelopment of historic Miramar. Possible developments and possible projects to kickstart the redevelopment of historic Miramar will be the Innovation and Technology Village, as well as possible workforce and affordable housing developments that can take place right in the heart of historic Miramar. The City of Miramar has invested over $200 million in infrastructure to facilitate not only clean water and stormwater drainage, but we will add this land use amendment properties and entitlements to facilitate and to attract development to give historic Miramar its rightful place as it relates to providing amenities, services, and housing for our historic Miramar residents. My second announcement is an update on the June 22nd workshop that took place in the Miramar City Commission Chambers. The workshop was entitled the Luma Workforce Housing Update. The City of Miramar is in receipt of an unsolicited proposal that would provide over 200 Class A residential units to provide workforce and affordable housing right in the city of Miramar. The city of Miramar, along with Broward County, has been noted as being unaffordable for the workforce community, and we want to ensure that the city of Miramar can provide a diversity of housing stock for all of our residents and potential residents. So we are under consideration in accepting this proposal and it will come before the Miramar City Commission on July 7th. Please stay tuned on these developments. We are gathering more information and ensuring that this unsolicited proposal will meet the needs of our community in the best interest of the city of Miramar. Last week, I had the opportunity to participate on the Florida League of Mayors Candid Conversation virtual panel discussion. I was one of the panelists joined by Florida League of Mayors President, City of Palatka Mayor Terrell Hill and City of Tallahassee Mayor Dan Daly. The panel discussion covered topics including the impacts of COVID-19 on our respective communities, housing affordability, and the historic impacts of redlining in our respective cities and our region, and in our case, South Florida. I was able to share some of the steps and actions that the city of Miramar is doing to ensure affordability in our city, as well as ensuring that we have sufficient housing stock, regardless of your socioeconomic status in the city of Miramar. It was also great to hear what steps and ideas that are coming out of North Florida and Tallahassee as well as the city of Palatka as they are meeting their challenges. The Florida League of Mayors is a wonderful organization made up of mayors across the state of Florida and I have the pleasure of being a member of such an august organization that helps to provide collaboration between mayors throughout the state of Florida. I would like to thank the entire city for coming out to our 4th of July celebration at Miramar Regional Park. We had an outstanding time at the mayor's concert, listening to reggae band Morgan Heritage, pop star Taylor Dane, and Latin sensation band Timba Live. And it was climaxed by our famous fireworks display. Thanks so much for celebrating our nation's independence together as a community. Next on the list, the Mayor's Yoga Saturday series is really on fire. It really has been a pleasure to participate and join in with our residents for a time to heal right in the Botanical Garden at the Miramar Cultural Center, where residents and visitors have had the opportunity to enjoy free yoga 10 a.m. every Saturday. 
I'm pleased to announce by popular demand, we are able to extend the yoga series until August 28th. So we're really excited about adding another couple of weeks to this fabulous opportunity for our community to come together in the spirit of spirituality, mental fitness, physical fitness, and just being together as a community. So we'll see you on Saturday at 10 o'clock. All massive, stand up. Yes, save the date and mark your calendars. The city of Myanmar will be celebrating Jamaican emancipence right here in the city of Myanmar on August 6th at the Myanmar Regional Park at the Amphitheater. We'll have cultural performances as well as reggae artists and performers live right at the Myanmar Amphitheater. So mark your calendars August 6th and we look forward to celebrating with our Jamaican residents the Jamaican Emancipation Celebration. Stay tuned. Miramar, thanks so much for joining me on the Mayor's Corner for City Commission updates and upcoming events in our wonderful city. I look forward to bringing more information and updates to you soon on the next Mayor's Corner. See you soon.